Hey for lifers, this is Pig for Life coming at you on the very last day of um the week, the the last day of the first half of 2023. Um this is MP55 Nightbird Shadow, aka Nightbird that we know and love from our G1 because we all love them bots. So yeah, this is an oldie, but uh, it's one that I got in my big box a while ago. I didn't pick this up when it first came out, um, but I got it from Toy Dojo in a big box months ago. Now I got a huge backlog, so I figured why not do her in honor of her uh, presence in the latest Rise of the Beast um, movie where she is pretty prominently featured. So let's start off with packaging review as always. Standard box here, nothing new. Hey, Anthony Brown, how's it going? Although I, I don't know when, I don't know when they started doing this. I just noticed it myself that they actually changed the Decepticon symbol. This is probably gonna be going on forever. Maybe I'm just dumb, but yeah. Hey, Mechas, hey, John, and, um, but yeah, the box is really nice. You can see the, um, Alt mode, robot mode, pretty standard stuff. The alt mode still looks quite good. In a robot mode, pretty dynamic. She has a lot of accessories that RC didn't have, but missing one that I wish she did. Uh, and then on the back, we get all of the um, promo images. You can see here a bunch of different things like the uh, weapons, as well as her swan mode. I had to look this up because I was not familiar with it. Uh, and then her alternate face, which again, I wasn't familiar with. So let's go ahead and get um, her out of the box. She comes with a set of instructions as well, but you can see she comes with a lot of accessories here, which is nice. And then she has her stack card. Again, um, the stack card is starting to feel pretty hefty here. Not plastic, but still quite thick and nice. Um, and I love the artwork here. So she has not just the image here, but she has the cool uh, throwing stars or shuriken coming out, which I think looks quite nice. And then her stats on the back. Standard instructions as usual. Uh, there's a bunch of weapons, so they have a bunch of different options for storage, and we'll go through that. Um, and then uh, the instructions are pretty much the same. The one thing I did notice that they had here was they call it a fling squirrel mode. I think it's supposed to be flying squirrel, but I was like, I had to double take because it's like fling squirrel mode. But yeah, let's see here. So... In the packaging itself, she gets a lot of the same weaponry that she got be with before the accessory. So she has the same two guns, um, and then she has the three blast effects. But she does come with a lot. Oh, and and the holster. But she also comes with a lot of new stuff, which are the two sets, uh, two uh, size, the alternate face here, uh, the two swords, beam swords, uh, shuriken, and then two other swords, which are I think like the the Le legends ones that she got. Um, from a while back. So, opening this up, we're going to take her out, and she looks super nice in this black and silver purple Decepticon logo and seat finish. Um, that color combination is pretty classic. So we'll put that there. And all the rest of these, we're just going to dump it right out because who's got time for all that? Uh, while I do this and arrange this, just a reminder, if you're joining live, I always set up both a live Q&A section of um, the chat box so you can drop questions for me that I can answer at a logical break. So it's very hard for me to do a live stream without uh, and monitor the chat at the same time. But then this gives you an opportunity to go ahead and um, drop those questions. And I'll get to them later. And then also I have set up a poll asking which of which of these two figures that use this that share this mold um, do you think wears it better, uh, the original MPRC or the Nightbird we're looking at today? So let's get some of these arranged. We've already kind of went over this, but we'll look at them in closer detail. All right, there we go. So again, she comes with a lot, and for a hundred, like fifty bucks ish in the U.S. retailers, um, she should come with a lot. So. But yeah, she looks really great. Let's just go over the accessories real quick. Um, the ones that came with her before were basically these on this side here. So she has the same same weaponry, just different colors. So these, this is in black, the handgun, uh, the small pistol here. 
And again, I, I, I do wish they had molded it so she can use it with either hand. Uh, I do find that a little bit disappointing. They did a little splash of yellow or something over there. T-Man said, I hope you practiced because it was last minute. Uh, I practiced once, so this might not go all that well. Here's the holster, which uh, can house this pistol. I think it goes in this way. And then it does lock on quite tightly and has a tab here for her thigh. And then these other blast effects. So the blast effects are the same. You have this square, uh, rectangular one that goes on this gun. And then this can go here. She does not have the large rifle that uh, RC is known for. And then this one can also go on here for a longer one. Um, the thing that is nice, though, is while we do get these swords here, uh, which the yellow color kind of throws me off because I remember these being like a white or blue. And I looked it up and I was right. Um, so the color is kind of off from the G1 cartoon, but not a big deal. The nice thing is you can take these off and change the beam into kind of a purple color with these same blast effects. Which is kind of cool so you can have like daggers instead. In, in, instead. All right. Uh, you got these two sides in translucent yellow. They do have kind of gold painted um, handles. And again, these actually can be used on either side, either hand, unlike this one gun. I don't know why this one accessory, they refuse to do it. These can be used on either hand. Um, although these swords here, and again, these remind me of the uh, Legends. Uh, I forget if they, uh, what, it, what it was called, the Generations one maybe in the U.S., these are also molded to be specifically one hand, which is kind of odd. Uh, they can be also be kind of transformed into guns by folding the handle down. Kind of weird looking, but it works. Two shurikens, and they have little tabs here which correspond to the hands, and you can actually double up on them. So if you, like, peg one into the other, you can actually have two of them that will peg into the hand, which will show up in a bit. And lastly, this cute o face um so this again is from um the comic that i had to look up it's from the the lg legends one the japanese line they had comics that went with them mine's um paint is kind of messed up you can see there's a little dimple here which is too bad and paint messed up there but this was like uh she she was taking she took off her mask and everyone was shocked at how she, cute her face was um so i guess that's what that is from but yeah, let's move all these accessories to the side. Oh, actually, since we're in robot mode, uh, before we do a 360, you can do whatever you want with these, essentially. There's a tab here and a tab here. And you can basically make use of almost all the various tabs. So you have another tab here. It's almost like too many tabs that they have on these. I kind of wish that they just left it so that you would use these tabs on here. And they were the same size, but now they all have like these weird tabs that stick out everywhere, like on the handles and stuff like that. Um, I don't think this blaster can be tabbed on anywhere. I don't remember this one being used anywhere here. Um, oh, but you can store this one underneath the front using one of the tabs and one of these slots. You can tab that in underneath like so. The pistol... Um, I thought you might be able to store it underneath here in the same way you can do the robot mode, but I don't believe so. So you can't do anything with that. Uh, you could also use this holster here. If you don't want to store the that longer, larger gun underneath there, you can store it in here, which looks ridiculous as well. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for the accessories. But yeah, looking at it in, in alt mode, this really does look quite sleek. I mean, the black is nice and glossy. Um, the silver has some, you know, metallic flake in it. Uh, the purple seats look really, really nice. The gold back here is popping. Little small details here and there. The chest is a little bit more um, angular and stylized as opposed to RC, which had like the straight one. Um, but it's okay. It still works. It still has kind of a lot of the junk underneath the, the, the bottom. And that gives you like... Barely any clearance, if at all. Like right now, I have 
a little bit probably mistransformed or not ideally transformed with the hands so that um, it rolls. But it's close enough, but it, it's not one of those nice rollers. It's kind of like a slider. It does also have a really nice translucent windshield. But overall, the, the alt mode does look quite nice. I think I prefer this one over, over uh, RC's just from the color scheme itself. But yeah. Hey, teammate, how y'all doing? Hey, Princeton. Hey, Mechas. Hey, Argonaut. Uh, hey, Evil Ash. Big Tasty. Uh, Craig Campbell. Evil Ash. McLewy G. I think I got the, the Titan. Ron Wyan. And I think I got everyone else. So, yeah. Um, alt mode comparisons. Here he is with Streak. About one streak long. And about one streak uh, a little bit more than one streak wide. But these colors look quite nice together. They kind of match. He has more of a uh, a softer, I guess, look here. More reflective. But this one is um, kind of brighter. Uh, let me see if you can fit Spike in here. Uh, oh, yeah. No, you can't. I remember complaining about this before. You can't really fit him in unless you, like, you rip off his legs or something like that. So unfortunately, no. But I did find this little Rock Lee figure that I got from, I think, Korea way back in the day, like 20 years ago. And he can almost fit in here. So if you're a Rock Lee Naruto fan and you got one of these <laughs> randomly like I do, then you can fit him in there. All right. So let's keep going. Um, the transformation, uh, hopefully I do remember how to do this. Again, I did it once or twice, but... All right, so let's go ahead. Oh, you got you got Monday off? Nice, T. I had to take off time, too. Titan took the whole week off. Nice. Princeton, uh, don't sit on her. She'll kick your butt pick. <laughs> That's an illusion. Thanks for the two bucks. Let me know if you have any comparisons you want to see uh, her with, and we'll do that at the end. So transformation is quite nice. I really enjoyed it the first time around, and uh, watching myself do it the second time around, uh, there's nothing really crazy going on. There are a, a little small things here and there that you just want to be mindful of to get the kind of an ideal fit. Um, but otherwise, uh, it's pretty pretty simple, pretty straightforward. There's only like one small difference here, and that's how the head works because uh, it splits open. But otherwise, if you know how to transform RC and you like it, you'll it, it'll be the same. All right. Um, I don't know where I started first last time. I'm trying to remember. Oh, yeah, we got to start at the sides. That's right. So first thing we do is we come to the sides here. We kind of pull forward and back. You want to lift this up. You want to flip this kind of around 90 degrees. You want to get this kind of out of here and you kind of accordion this back like this and then flip this up and back on itself like so. Same thing on this side. Untab these sections. There are over and under tabs here. You want to lift this up, accordion this back, but you want to get this door around like so, flipped all the way around and sit on itself like that. All right, uh, next thing we'll do is, actually let's just lift up the backpack and kind of finish off with this. You can pull out on the sides here. And kind of you want to tuck this in, um, but this accordion's up like so. You can see there's a double hinge here. But one thing you, I want to show you here is that these tail lights, these tail sections are on two sets of sliders. There's one that you can see here on a pin joint that slides back and forth, but it also extends and contracts. So it's contracted right now, but you do want to make sure that you untab and extend it and slide it inwards. Fold this in at the outside pin first and then tuck this one in second. But you're going to want to rock this up like that to get this tucked in. Oh, one other thing I was I always forget this. Um, you also want to tuck in these pieces here. They just collapse ever so slightly like that. So like so, get this in here. Get this around like that. So same thing on this side. Extend. Remember to pull it out on that pin joint. Slide it inwards. Flip, flip, and then we'll flip these, um, what's it called, pieces too, 
these um, wheels and wheel wells. So this is kind of how you want everything positioned. Like so. All right. That's kind of done for now. Uh, the other thing that you'll want to do eventually is pull up on this center console hinge and just kind of rock that forward. But that just kind of gets things out of the way. Coming up to the uh, coming to the bottom, we want to open up these little sections here that house the toes that are bent kind of in a weird way. You want to pull this down until they're facing directly forward on her body. From here, you want to collapse them. It has a weird kind of collapsing mechanism on the hips. And once that's done, you want to rotate the legs fully down, just straighten out the feet and the toes, the heels and the toes. And then I also want to adjust the thigh swivel, which is kind of low on this figure outwards. Otherwise, it looks kind of awkward. And it's very easy to miss because it's very hidden almost. So do that, and then you have the lower body done. All right, next up, we're going to get the arms out of the way. It's on a set of double hinges, so this weird hinge circular piece is going to go all the way in. And then you can just bring the arms down. Same thing on this side here. Bring this all the way down. Straighten out the arms. You got these weird thumbs that I wish they had done something with. They still look terrible. Basically, in any position you have them. But anyway, I'll complain about that later. All right, next up, let me see if I remember the steps here. Um, oh, so we'll go ahead and release kind of the chest piece here and bring the backpack kind of like so. And we're going to scooch the head all the way through. So you can see the head, the helmet's kind of opened up. So we want to move this around like that. And we can close this up for now. The neck panel will also, uh, neck will also rotate forward to kind of sit in the correct position. But uh, one of the more, I guess, difficult parts of this one is that you have to get this windshield through two areas here. So this windshield and the dash front dash, uh, you want to pull it down and you want to rotate it about 45 degree-ish because you want to pass it through the dash here behind the wheel and these two um, armatures. So you want to have it kind of tucked back and then at kind of this 45 degree angle and then you that way you can pass it through. Um, did I do something wrong here? I always get this part a little mi mi mixed up here, but this should pass through without issue. So don't be like me and try to force things. Uh, was I supposed to bend it the other way? I don't think it matters which way I bend it. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, so pass that through and you want to rotate it all the way through like that, but you're not done there because you actually get have to get it through this um, panel of uh, this armature where the neck and everything resides. So just keep passing it through like so. And now once you're all the way through, you just want to tuck it up and back underneath the front of the car. Oops, before you do that, make sure you flip the wheels down first, then these, then you can close up these sections here. And now we're just going to arrange the backpack and so forth. So um, first, we're going to want to get the backpack up on this set of double hinges. You can see there's two slots here with these two tabs. You're going to want to push up on that. And I always found this a, a bit of a challenge here. Um, they, they do somewhat tab in, but it's hard to actually get them to tab in because, one, you can't really push on this section here. It's on like a hinge. And um, I remember last time I cracked... Um, this hinge um, somehow. So just be careful when you do that. But you want you do want to get it kind of up as much as you can on this hinge and then tuck in like so. You might be able to, you know, pull forward on this a bit. As long as it's kind of like rest in that slot, you should be fine. It doesn't have to be a hard tab, but if you want to kind of reach your fingernails in these slots and just try to give it a quick squeeze to help it along, that might, that might uh, help you out. And then once you do that, bring these sections down. Oh, sorry. You have to make sure that you don't fold in these wheel wells 
because uh, they do block these uh, black armature pieces. So my apologies there. You want to rock this down. I always forget which ones can go down. The, the rear ones, you have to wait until after you get all this section down. Tab in the chest and everything like that. And the backpack will theoretically go like so. Yeah. And then once you've cleared that, now you can close these wheel wells up or fenders, whatever you want to call them, like so. And then just get the head positioned in a nice way. And with that, you have Nightbird Shadow, which I don't remember her having the whole name Nightbird Shadow, but maybe that's the Japanese name for her. But in the G1 show, I, I, I remember her just being called Nightbird. And then you have her in robot mode, and she looks quite nice. <laughs> See, T-Man's already making fun of me. Put it in the slots. <laughs> nice one. Pay keeps flashing her booty. Well, it's, I mean, when you got a booty like this, you got to show it off, right? I mean, I mentioned it in the, my RC review, but her, 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 the way her body is structured just looks so weird. Like the front of her body comes here, but then the, her butt and her hips are all tilted at a 45 degree angle. And yeah, you know, we're not going to talk about this, but this is why she's the hot mom of the group rc i made fun of her being out of the three options that we had she was like the <laughs> i think I, I said that um azalea from ocular max was like the teenage version of her um early 20s maybe in college still not fully confident uh, not fully developed and then i said rouge was kind of the uh, mid-20s young 30s you know really getting into her prime filling out and then um, MPRC was, had two kids, became a soccer mom, does the carpool, put on a little bit of, you know, thigh and, and hip weight. Um, that's what she was. That's why she, you know, she's still got the mom bod a bit. She got, she's got, you know, the thighs and everything. But she's the, she's, I, th I think she's the much hotter model, right? She's got the sleekness. She's got the mystique with the mask and everything. Uh, and then she has this really cute O face, which, I mean, RC had an O face too, but, you know, she's definitely the hot model of the group. So in the poll, I would definitely vote that she's the better use of the mold, even though she does have a whole backpack she didn't originally have in the show. I mean, that's that's just how it is with a remold like this. But I'm glad that we actually got one. Um, I don't know if they just took cues from the LG one that sold well. Generation one that sold well, whatever. I don't think I don't think that one was sold in the U.S. I think the LG it was only sold in Japan, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, I already went into comparisons just because I was talking about hot moms. But yeah, she looks great. I love the black and silver. I think they did a really good job with the color scheme. Oh, T Man's gonna hound me. I forgot about flipping this symbol and then flipping this down. You're supposed to do that. Yeah, T, T's, T's going to have a field day with me later. I told you to practice. Click the video. <laughs> Springer says, I'd hit it. <laughs> always better in black. Yeah, always been on black. But yeah. Much. And then uh, the thing that really helps her is that this weird, like, long... I don't even know what you want to call it. It almost looks like... Um, one of those Middle, Middle Eastern head coverings. Anyways, uh, this covers up or makes makes the flatter chest that's like really bare here more bearable. It's kind of more hidden. So, but yeah, let's move her off to the side. Uh, what other comparisons can I do really quick? Because I've already started doing comparisons. Uh, what else do I have? Um, here she is with MP44, 44 and 55, the double digits. Uh, here she is with Bingo Toys. I don't know if she's going to stand. Ooh, it worked. Um, also a random one. Oh, no. <laughs> this is Astrobot's, um, Athena, Athenia. I forget how what her name is. 
Oh, I got it once. It's not going to work a second time. Oh, got it. All right, don't breathe. So yeah, I think she looks really quite nice. Um, really, I think it's a great addition. I'm glad that I finally picked her up. Um, I was poo-pooing on this mold, uh, this uh, reuse for a while, but I'm so glad that I actually picked her up and added her to my collection. Hopefully, if you guys don't have her, this is what this will convince you as well. So let's see. Now we'll get into some of the. Uh, I guess we'll go into accessories why not or let's go to articulation first articulation she basically has the same stuff the one thing i do want to point out is that when you flip open her head she does actually have different details here she doesn't have the um visor that folds out she has kind of like some brain detail i don't remember if this is what is shown in the show but you can flip that up uh, the other detail is you can take off her mask and she has an actual face and since we're here why not uh, replacing your face with a cute one you just slide it up and again i don't i didn't read the comic well i saw the comic but i don't know what it was talking about really um because it wasn't translated but it looks like she has a grain of rice on her cheek i don't know if that's like a defect on mine but it looks so perfect that i i, I need to watch somebody else's video because it looks like she has a grain of rice on her face <laughs> which would be adorable but if you want, you can also put her mask on this as well. She kind of has more like a shocked look to it with the more open eyes. But it looks quite good. I like it. So her head is on a ball joint. So she does get some wobble wobble and up and down. Her neck itself is on a pin joint that can go forward and back. So she can do some grooving to the uh, carpool music that her kids hate. They're like, mom. I don't know this band. Can you put on some One Direction or something? One Direction stole thing, right? No, they're not. They broke up. Hairstyles. Whatever. I'm not cool. Um, let's see here. Hair. The shoulders. You can make use of that weird joint if you want to get her all the way up like that. Or you can leave it down. It doesn't really add much here. She does have rotation that goes all the way around at the shoulder joint. Bicep swivel that goes all the way around. She's got a butterfly joint, which gives her a lot of freedom. Um, while it does look kind of weird, and it comes like above her boobs, um, that's kind of what you would expect from from a mom in her 40s kind of thing. So uh, she had double jointed elbows. But I don't think it looks all that good if you'd use both of them. And you can like get on like 90% of the same elbow bend with just one joint. She has a wrist swivel. She also has a wrist hinge. So you can do that. She has the ugliest thumbs in the world. They're just always crooked like that. And they don't rotate. And they're at a weird angle. Like, what? what is this? Like, even when you hold a gun, you don't hold it like this or a sword. Why isn't it straight? Like, I don't understand why they did this. She has the tab for her guns and weapons and so forth. Her pointer finger is separately articulated there and it has one pin joint uh two pin, uh two joints and then the other three fingers are molded together and have the same kind of two points of articulation her chest is really weird um same thing as rc if you open it up you kind of kind of see she has a ball peg that goes into like this abdomen area which you can't even really see once you have this pegged in um so theoretically she kind of has a mid body crunch but because of how big this piece is you can't really utilize it and it's really tight like um i've had to loosen it up a bit i think i need, might need to put in some lubricant in here to well uh, yeah, you know if i if you, if i had any kind of you know lubricant nearby not on my bedside or anything like that you know i'd, I'd probably have to go get go buy that you know because I don't have that kind of stuff just laying around. Um, but <laughs> I might need to do that to loosen this one up. Uh, she does also have like a ball peg apparently in the lower section that goes into actual hips. But if she didn't have this thing kind of getting in the way, uh, she could get a little bit more there and get a little bit side to side bobble. But yeah, for the most part, I can only use the bottom joint just because of how tight the top joint is. So I kind of have to manipulate it in a weird way. <laughs> Take after dark, mature content warning. Yeah, see, it started, usually I start at 9. Now we're at 10. 
So, you know, we're, we're starting to get into, what is it, uh, HBO After Dark? Is that what it was back when we were kids? All right, was, uh, I'm getting off track here. Um, the legs, you can go <laughs> forward uh, about 90 degrees before it starts getting weird, and then it rotates outwards, and then you can... Well, again, After Dark, you can start imagining the types of positions you can get <laughs> this figure into. Um, but once you start doing that... Uh, you, if you want to keep it like straight and not angled outwards like that, you have to make use of that weird hidden joint. But it looks very odd, so I wouldn't recommend it. Yep, this is for my my OF OF page. I don't know if I if saying the only F will get me in trouble at all. <laughs> uh, where where were we? Um, another limiting factor uh, with her and RC is that she doesn't get any hip outward movement really i mean she does but just not a lot i guess it's fine but we're used to seeing 90 degrees but again her thighs uh, and her hips are what are limiting that and then my biggest complaint with her has always been that she has zero backwards movement here like because of her her big and why <laughs> another thing to note why she's the hotter mom is because she's sporting a thong here like see how the shape is here same kind of shaping here on both but then they needed to give her like a thong like going all the way in the back like like when when you saw this hot mom at the community pool and she's rocking a thong you're like damn damn my mom would never rock, wear a thong and you wouldn't want your own mom to see your own mom in a thong but when it's your friend's neighbor's hot mom you're like all right cool thong at the pool like can we go to the pool today too i heard i heard jimmy's mom's gonna be at the pool today can we go too Anyway, but yeah, she doesn't have any backwards movement, which sucks. Um, I guess you might be able to... I guess if you pull this out, you you get a little bit, but then you totally jack up the look. So yeah, she doesn't have any backwards movement is what I'm saying here. Uh, let's see, thighs. We already talked about the thighs. You can rotate all the way there. She has double-jointed knees, which get a really nice knee bend. And nothing is too overtly gappy or anything like that. And then her feet, she has a couple of points of articulation. So she has that hinge here that can move the foot down and up. You got ankle rockers, really just going inwards. I don't think it goes outwards. Oh, it does go outwards a little bit, like very little. I think that might just be play there. And then she has a toe that goes up and down. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, which part of this... Which part of this is diecast? Part of her foot is diecast. I think it's the, the big heel part, but I don't know if the toe is. Maybe maybe it all is. But anyway, she does have a little bit of diecast here. Uh, not a ton, as you would expect from a Masterpiece figure, uh, but she has some there and then some of the inner art armature pieces, those black bars. Um, did I miss anything? I think I talked about the waist swivel, right? I feel like she has more waist swivel than RC. So I remember RC, I couldn't get rotated around. Let's see. I couldn't get rotated around very well. Yeah, see, like, that's all I could all I could get. And then it would start splitting her waist. But with Nightbird, um, I can get her around. It does make kind of a weird clicking noise. I don't know what's going on there. But she can get way, way further around. You know, she's more flexible. She's she's the mom that does yoga, hot yoga. So, benefits of hot yoga. All right, so I think we did all the articulation. We did the face accessory. All the weapons all work basically the same way. They Again, uh, the swords are, they have two slots, so you can use one higher up or lower down. The, a bunch of them have slots um, that you used in, in alt mode, you're going to use that same slot here on the back if you want to do some storage. It doesn't matter which ones, like so. Um, she does have a new port here. So there's a new port where you can add the size to the side here, or you can probably add these here too because they're the same size. So you can do crazy things like this. You can store the weapons here. On the side like this or like this if you take off the um, blade attachments like so uh, you get the idea the holster 
goes on this side. I guess theoretically it can go on both sides, but if you want it to be positioned in the correct angle where the, she can actually pull it out, you can do it like this or like this. Uh, I think you guys get the idea. They're, they're all the same. You can plug them in the hands or not. Gun goes in the hand. This one, again, is just a weird one that can only be used on one side. At least these can be used on both sides. Uh, one side each because you get two of those. So nothing, nothing too exciting. The one thing I will say is while we do get a lot of accessories, I don't know why they didn't include any nunchucks. Like she very clearly had those in the show. It was one of the accessories and weapons she used most frequently. So it's weird that we didn't... Um, we didn't get that. I feel like something. I did something wrong here. Did I? Uh, anyway, so yeah, I I, I, w I would rather have had nunchucks than than these, to be perfectly frank, or even uh, nunchucks more than. Well, I, I do like the shurikens, but I I would have gotten rid of one one of the other accessories instead. Uh, again, you can get the shurikens tabbed into the hands. You can. Stack them up like this and tab them in, which is kind of cool. But yeah, she's got a lot of accessories and she can use them. So be very careful. She's very good. But I think that's it for the robot mode. Let me pause here real quick because before we go into um, alt mode transformation, I always want to check especially with the folks who donated if they requested any other comparisons. Let's see here. What does the Ark and Nightbird have in common? Both have had multiple Autobots and Decepticons inside of them. Jeez, what is going on here? <laughs> She's super stealthy with a 200-pound backpack. All right, let me, let me go ahead and uh, check the questions, see if there are any questions here. Give me a second. Uh, Titan says, how do you think Nightbird ranks against Big uh, Firebird's Mooka? I haven't had a chance to um, play with that figure, so I can't say there. Um, Argo Nut asked, besides animals, what do you think the next Masterpiece car will be? Uh, what will be the next Masterpiece car? Huh, that's a good question. I feel like it's got to be maybe like Wind Charger or something at this point, right? Oh, or, well, I guess Cliff Jumper, technically, if that's probably a good one that will come out. But I feel like they got to do Wind Charger at some point, Wind Charger and Tailgate. Unless they go crazy and they start doing like the uh, la uh, um, Lambos like 2.0 kind of thing uh, with um, Red Alert and, and stuff like that. So. I don't know if they would do that or, you know, you know me, I would love to have another updated streak because I can't, I can't get enough of streak. I can never get enough of streak. So those are the only questions. Uh, you guys can keep asking more. I don't think, um, I didn't see Princeton ask if, uh, for a specific, yeah, she, he didn't ask for a specific comparison, but Princeton, if you're still there and you have a comparison, this is really your last opportunity because we're going to get into uh, alt mode very soon. All right. Uh, the poll is going strong. It looks like Nightbird is currently in the lead with 54% of the votes saying that they people prefer this version of the mold. I'm with you guys on that. But let's go ahead and get transformed back into alt mode and finish off the review. All right. First things first, uh, we'll go ahead and deal with this because I forgot this last, last time. So let's just flip these around, flip these up. Like so, uh, we're gonna go ahead and I actually like untabbing the chest right now and just lifting that up. We'll lift the backpack up as well. Get that up and out of the way. We'll just get these wheels and everything unfolded as well. Uh, the big thing we're gonna need to do is get this windshield through. So once again, we wanna rotate this about a little bit more than 45 degrees, rock that through there. And then hopefully I did it right this time where I rock it through here. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Got that through, rotate it around, shoot that up like so. So 
we got that part done. Uh, now we want to go ahead and open up the the head like that. Let's go ahead and flip out the wheels and the fenders as well. I'm going to rotate just this through. It is a very tight space here, so just be careful when you do that. You got to get through. So his, she has kind of the Leia ears too. She has to get through this little cutout here when you do that. And you want to double hinge these down like so. So um, it angles forward. And then you can basically just get these positioned like that. Give it a nice squeeze there. And there we go. We can lift up these panels because we're going to need the toes to kind of fit in there. While we're here, let's just go ahead and fold up the arms. So you want to kind of get these circular pieces out about 90 degrees and then get these arms up like so. Get the fingers kind of splayed like this. Uh, so the way I have it is when I, when you use the double jointed elbows and you have this position correctly, um, these fingers should kind of go right where the shoulders are. So let's get this up and around. Like so. So you kind of want it like that. Again, as much as you can, try to get these 90 degrees, these circular pieces, but it's not a huge deal if you don't. All right, let's just finish the, with the backpack because I always forget certain things on the backpack and the legs are so easy. So let's go ahead and rock these out. Uh, remember to fold... Oh, dang it! I forgot the swan mode. All right, there was a really stupid swan mode that was also referenced in the comic. Let me let me just show it because I'm not going to go back for it. It's a stupid mode and it's, again, part of the LG comic. But all you do is fold out these little panels on the back here. And then you position yourself like this. And this was supposed to be her swan mode, her ninja swan mode. Uh, but it's really just her with these doors out as kind of, I guess, a flight stand. And this is supposed to be the head of the swan. That's supposed to be... Yeah, sorry, I was supposed to do that, and I was going to make a joke about it. But uh, instead of a flying squirrel, she has a... Or fling squirrel, she has the fling um, swan mode. But anyway, lost opportunity. I don't think anyone's going to lose any sleep over it, though. So remember to fold out this small section first. Fold that out. Slide this to the outside on this telescoping joint, and then collapse it in so that it tabs in. Same thing on this side. But yeah, I had to Google that as well because I, I was like, flying swan mode? What is this? And then you want to rock these down on the double hinges. These will tab in to the rear section like so. Sorry, I've been kind of off to the right. Uh, the reason being I have my phone charging and there's a cable sticking out from the right side. It'll be posted on OnlyPakes. <laughs> Yeah, you got to pay for that that kind of position. Uh, let's see here. Um, so you want to rock this back down. The one thing that you want to make sure you do is flip the seat, the backs of the seats down. And then you also want to make sure that you extend outwards on these little panels. So again, they collapse in so little. It's like a couple millimeters at most. But you want to make sure you do that. This will come down. And there is a peg right there that's going to go right into her, well, you know. And you could have used that. Uh, that's another thing I was going to show. You could have used that for figure stands as well. So this is this is the best you're going to get. I was very forgetful. Remember, this is the last minute thing. And uh, I was clearly not prepared. It's not one of my best best reviews. We'll just We'll just leave it at that. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, you'll, you'll bring this down and then you'll plug up this port, we'll just call it port, um, with, you kind of just have to, <laughs> I said this in my RC review too, but I said you got to kind of have to feel around for it, um, but I called it a something else before, and come on, come on, I know you're there. I don't want to. Scratch up her butt paint, her thong paint. Why is it not going in? Oh, 
Uh, one of the areas you, you might have interference is... Oh, no, no, that one's fine. I don't, okay, well, let's just keep going with the thighs and maybe that'll resolve itself. So lift up the, the, hit, the, the legs going 90 degrees. Then you'll have to expand them like so. And then you're going to rock these forward all the way to the top. The one thing you're going to want to do is point the, the, the foot and then angle these toes like that. Or was it like this? Oh, sorry, like this. Yeah, I need, I need, I need that uh, lube to get it in for sure. And yeah, so you just want to tuck these legs in like so. And then these pieces will sit on top of the toes. Like that. But I don't know why the uh, this port doesn't want to go in. Oh, that time it went in. So I don't know what kind of help it got. I don't think I brought out any lubricant. But anyway, you have everything kind of positioned like this. Now we just need to finish off with these doors. So again, this is on a kind of an accordion piece. You want to rock that forward, unfold this, bring this door around, and then you have a series of tabs. So make sure we straighten this out here. Over and under tabs. Uh, you also want to make sure that this piece goes underneath that rounded piece there that's very easy to miss and will cause maybe some amount of misalignment but otherwise we're just doing cleanup now right there we go just give it a little kind of squeeze forward and back to resolve any gaps this section is not lined up it's fine it's fine all right same thing on this side bring this down Bring this forward, get this tucked in underneath. And there we go. Uh, pretty much done. This, this, this one side here is being kind of weird, but it's just an alignment thing. You just need to clean it up. We're not going to spend a lot of time with on that. So yeah, now that we have uh, Nightbird Shadow back in alt mode. We'll finish off the review. And my final thoughts are, you know, I do think this is a better version of the mold or better use of the mold. Um, also just because of the colors. And we always like Nightbird, right? Everyone's a fan of Nightbird. She's cool. Uh, not that we're not fans of RC, but we want a hotter RC, not the, the mom RC. So I would definitely like to see another third party take on RC, but I would also like to see a really good take on Nightbird at some point. Um, one with it that's not like a remold that has a backpack that you have to live with. Maybe if they made this one detachable, that would be a, a really nice addition. But I know that, you know, Takara, Takara wouldn't do that. Absolutely, they wouldn't do a de detachable section like that. But in any case, I do like this figure. I would recommend it. It is expensive, though. So if you can get it on sale. So I know some places um, had it on sale uh, not too long ago for like half price or something like that. Um, I would recommend if you can do it, grab it at on sale. But I know it's been out for a while, so it might be few and far between getting this this, this figure on sale. But if you can, uh, I would recommend it. Comes with a ton of accessories, even though there are no nunchucks, and even though some of them are weird. Um, I do think it is a a nice buy. So I'm glad I picked it up personally. Usually, you know, picking things up later, uh, I usually have some buyer's remorse. But this one, not at all. I like it. I recommend it. So let me close out the poll. Uh, the poll says 54% of folks think that Nightbird wore it better, that she's definitely the hotter mom on the block. And then let's see if there's any other Q&A. No other Q&A, so we'll just end that. Uh, and then let me just see what other perverted comments that you for lifers have while I wasn't paying attention. Nightbird looks like she can be Cobra Commander's car. Uh, that's a weird take. RC looks so much like she could be Barbie's car. I'm surprised Ms. Mattel hasn't sued. <laughs> Princeton says you'll need to smoke after this stream. Yeah, yeah. Butt plug, yep, OnlyFans, it's her XXX mode. <laughs> M MP Jet, oh, MP Jetfire? Ah, it's too late. I'll owe you one. I'll owe you one. We're already in, uh, we're already in uh, robot mode. I mean, uh, alt mode. 
All right, so yeah, I think I got this. Again, thanks for everyone sticking with me, even though I clearly was not well prepared to take this. I made a lot of mistakes, but it's an older figure, so I'm sure you guys already know how to transform it. Or you can watch my RC review where I did a much better job transforming it than I did with this time. But I like it, uh, recommend it. If you guys have any questions, comments, or, or uh, things that you want to say in the comment section below when you're watching it uh, not live, go ahead and leave it below. Also, just a reminder for a couple things. Uh, we will be doing a Jeopardy revival for this year. I promised that on my last Chatterday, so we'll be doing that. Uh, speaking of Chatterday, that will always be the third Saturday of the month. So this is technically the first Saturday, which sucks, which means because I have, that means I only have two weeks to do it. So I'll, I'll make sure that I get that arranged. Um, if you're interested in doing, uh, being a participant in Jeopardy or in Chatterday, the only way to do that is to join my Discord. The link is in the, um, in the description below. And so you can just join the, the chat, chatter, uh, join the Discord and just let me know, um, by, by tagging me and saying, Hey, I want to be part of Chatterday and I'll let you into the private Chatterday channel where we go ahead and get things organized, take volunteers. And yeah, if you, I, I would highly recommend if anybody who hasn't participated in Jeopardy before, uh, definitely participate this time. Uh, there's going to be some fun new, uh, new categories and games uh, associated with that. And I always give a prize at the end of the year. So the way it works is we'll have three rounds of Jeopardy, kind of like first rounds, three participants each. Each of the winners, so three winners of each of those rounds, will go on into a uh, tournament of champions, and the winner will get a prize. So, go ahead and click that Discord link below. Um, other things are, I am still selling those shirts for uh, Madhouse Toys. I'm actually wearing it right now. Uh, let me see if I can show it off real quick. Can I flip the camera? Yep, I'm still selling this shirt. Um, on my Teespring. I'll have to remember if I put that in the description below. But if not, I will do that. And that's it for everyone, for today, everyone. Uh, thanks for Life for joining. Thanks for everyone else who is coming later. Thank you, Princeton Phalanx, for donating in. And we'll see you next week. That'll be the second half of 2023. Crazy. I made my resolution go a whole six months. So... Thanks to all of you for the support that there's no way I would have done this and committed to this if it weren't for you guys, especially those of you who actually joined the live stream. So love you all. Have a great night and a great holiday weekend. Thanks all. Bye.